Hi there folks, Dr. Dave here again with another TI-84 Plus tutorial. In this tutorial I want to look at using fractions within the TI-84 Plus calculator. So let's start off with a, a simple example. Let's suppose I wanted to work, calculate two-fifths plus three-fifths. Oh, uh, well, sorry, let's go two-fifths plus four-fifths as an example. So we go two, one way of representing that it's just using divide, so we go 2 over 5 plus 4 divided by 5, press enter, and you'll notice here it will give us the answer in decimal form. Now, suppose instead we wanted to represent that in fractional form, or as a fraction, I can do that by pressing on the math button, and then this first option here to convert it into a fraction. Okay, so notice now we've got it in fractional form, so again, 2 over 5, let's do uh, 7 over 5 this time, enter, and again maths, option 1, and it'll convert it into fractional form. Okay, so that's all well and good. Let's suppose we wanted to get the answer in that form by default. So to do that we need to go into the mode, and go down until we hit this form here, and we can select to get our answers in fractional form. So at the moment the default is auto. This option is in decimal form and the last one is in fractional form. So this now will give us the answers in fractional form. Okay, so we'll quit out of there and that's again 2 divided by 5 plus 7 divided by 5 equals and without having to do the conversion we by default get that in fractional form. Okay, another thing we might want to do, this is a improper fraction, we might want to represent this as a mixed fraction. So to do that, again we go into the mode and go down and we want to change this line here from the improper fraction to a mixed fraction. So we select this one here, again quit out of there and then if we go 2 divided by 5 plus 7 divided by 5 we get it in mixed fraction form, so 1 and 4 fifths. Okay, so we can do other calculations, so for example I can do 3 quarters subtract, uh, let's go 2 thirds and as a fraction this is 1 over 12 and in fact we could do so 5 thirds multiplied by uh, let's say 3 sevenths and again as a fraction we get that as being 5 over 7. Now as I said that's probably the easiest way of representing our fractions using the calculator is just using the divide. So 3 divided by 4 is exactly the same as 3 over 4. But if we want to actually use that representation, the fraction representation, we can do that fairly easily, making sure that we've got the most recent version of the uh, operating system. We click on the alpha button and then the y equals and then that allows us then these fractional selections. So for example I could select this one here, the first option. That will then enable me to enter 3 over 4 as a fraction. And we can do, redo that sum from earlier, so 3 quarters, subtract and again click on alpha, y equals, and we had 2, we just click the down button there over 3, and we get our answer as one, 1 over 12. Okay, so that gives us a way of doing that. The other options we had here, we can enter mixed fractions, so if we go down to the second option there, I can go 1 and 3 fifths, and then plus, uh, let's go again alpha, this one here, click the first option, say 2 thirds, and again we get our answer as a mixed fraction there, and I can convert, if I want to convert this back into a decimal, Again, click alpha, y equals, and this last option here, fraction to decimal, works back the other way, so it goes from decimal to fraction as well, and press enter, 
and we get our answer back as a as a decimal in this case. Okay, so that gives you a good overview of the different options. So we've got change we can change the mode again down here. So between fraction, decimal or auto. And we can also change it from improper fractions as the answer to mixed fractions. So quit out of there. And the other main feature is either through the math option. Uh, well, we can certainly do the conversions through here. Uh, let's go, sorry, in, through numbers. And we've got our different options there. So we can select it through this menu, or the shortcut in the most recent versions of the operating system is to click on alpha y equals, and we get this little menu popping up here. Okay, so I hope you can all have lots of fun with fractions. Again, something that you probably should be familiar with at this stage anyway, but using the TI-84+, plus, we can do the calculations quite simply. Alright, see you again. Hopefully that's been useful.